All right, scientists, I have another question for you today. And while I ask it, I'm gonna feed these trout and zoom in so you can see them eating. And I think that that feeding behavior will help you to answer the question that I'm about to ask. So first I'll drop in some food and then I'll zoom it in a little bit. All right. So the darker fish aren't actually darker, they're just the ones that are at the top. And you can see that they're kind of lunging toward the food and actively eating. I'm gonna zoom back a second and show you what these guys are in. This, this container holds 275 gallons of water if it's full, which it's not. But I have some information for you, and then I have a question, of course. And the information is this. As these trout get bigger, and this is true of most all fish in the world, as they, as they grow through their life cycles, they're going to need to spread out. They're going to need to spread out for two reasons, or two that I can think of anyway. One is, if they all stayed in one spot, that one spot would get pretty dirty and the water quality would suffer. And trout really need nice, clean, cold water. Fish, fish appreciate that, but trout specifically, they need that clean, cold water. So they spread out for that reason. And they spread out to find food because if they're all in one spot like this situation here in the wild they'd run out of food they would completely eat everything in that area and then they'd be in trouble they'd have to they'd have to find food very quickly or they would die so they know that and they spread out sooner uh, than they don't wait until the last second, let's say. They don't procrastinate like perhaps some of you may have done with the science fair project. <clears throat> no names mentioned. Okay, so that's why they spread out. Now I want you to use a reading skill that we've been learning about, which is to put yourself into the shoes or hoofs or feathers, or in this case the fins, of another creature and imagine as you spread out in this stream or river, imagine what it is that you're looking for, what your challenges are, how you're going to stay safe, what critters are out there trying to eat you, what it is that you are trying to eat yourself, and think about what the things are that you need to do as a small trout, a trout fry, to survive in this harsh environment as you begin to spread out. So you're no longer getting this gift from above of powdered food. You're now in a, in a natural setting and you're spreading out and you're, you're needing to fend for yourself. It's kind of like you guys when you turn 18 or whenever, whatever age you are when you leave the house. What do you need to do to survive? But in this case, you're a trout. And so that's the question. There will be more details on the slideshow about how, what format the answer should be in, how I want you to post your answer. Uh, but this video is just for your inspiration and information. 